welcome to another exciting edition of the home game. Uh, I am Cindy Seidelman, and if you recall from the last home game that we did, we are doing a little bit of a trilogy. Um, we are doing Game Gear. We're saluting game show games on the Game Gear, and there were only three of them. Last week, or last time, we did Wheel of Fortune. It seems to reason that we do Jeopardy for the Game Gear as well. Now, I talked about how I want to do uh, do have a complete inbox collection of every single game show game that's ever been released, video game wise. Highly unlikely I'm going to get this for the Game Gear, because if I remember last time, or I said last time, Wheel of Fortune's about fifty. Jeopardy is worth a hundred, and you can't even find Jeopardy Sports Edition complete in box for the Game Gear. Anyway, while well, I said that, we'll pop uh, Jeopardy in, and what I have to do on my TV is because I didn't set it up yet, but we will go to the stream part. And actually play. Decent Jeopardy theme. Ugh! Creepy Apic Alex. And a decent Johnny Gilbert? Hold on. We're going to replay this again, because I didn't hear that quite right, so. Yeah, normally you have to hit start, but you have to hit like A or something. Weird transformations. But hey, at least we got Alex and an okay 8 bit version of the 92 set. We have Mr. and Mrs. Food Fish. Shakespeare, Cats and Dogs, Fashion, and Wedded Ways. I'll go Food Fish for 100. What are sardines? You are right. And Alex gives me a thumbs up. Cool. I like that. Food fish for two hundred. I do like that they give you some time to actually read the clue before they do the timer. the little jingle graphically it looks nice I mean it 
it's supposed to take up from the Game Boy version. But as much as I play it, it's a little bit different. It looks like kind of like the Oh, I must have misspelled mackerel. M A C K E R E L. Whatever. Yeah, Dorfman's nickname is Flounder. <coughs> and apparently if that's these, I'm also allergic to Flounder. Anyway. And apparently this was also one to two players on the Game Gear, but it required that link cable that... didn't really work and kind of looks like an HDMI cable. So to be honest, did they even release the link cable for the Game Gear? But I gotta admit, I do like animated 8 bit Alex. The line ending a presidential press conference. No, My Fellow Americans starts it. I don't know what ends it. What is Zwix? No, that's a city in California. Cause no wait, that's Zizix. Zizix, California. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, like you're gonna type that up in sixty seconds. Yeah, right. I think that's Mr. Green Jeans. And here's the funny thing, uh, if you bought this, remember, the Game Gear is a handheld console, and the Game Gear, like, ate up a lot of battery life, like, you only got, what, five, six hours of gameplay? And this game is going pretty slow. Uh, it's Scarecrow and Mrs. King. They replayed this a lot on FX back in the day.
And to be honest, it's moving pretty slow. And to be honest, it... Mrs. Brown, you got a lovely daughter. Um, I wouldn't... If I was playing this, if you're able to play it with a friend, it might move faster, but just from the loading and everything with this, with the board and everything, it is moving really slow. <sighs> they call me Mr. Tibbs, all the sequel to In the Heat of the Night. Like, the only in the heat of the night I know is the TV show. I didn't know the Poitier movie. Uh, we'll do Wedded Ways for 100. Polygamous has many wives. A polyandrous has many husbands. And unfortunately, with the economy in this day and age, you kind of have to be in a polygamous, yeah, kind of have to be in a polykill in order to make rent nowadays. I mean, this is how bad this is getting. Um, like, I'm kind of going on some tangents and they're not good like I should be talking about the game but there really isn't much to talk about here I mean graphically it looks nice but if you're playing it on the go back in the day I wouldn't see how much fun you'd have with this by yourself I think this is the garter belt. But usually the guy flicks it. And I don't know if they even do that anymore. Also, I'm kind of hoping I just find the daily double. If you marry in haste, what might you do at leisure? Catch an STD? I don't know. Divorce at leisure? Repent at leisure. What the hell? Marriage is in the salad bar. It's either diamond or platinum. I'm going to go diamond. Hey, I got it right. Like, a whole game at this speed is going to take you about 40 minutes. So, if you're playing this on the road, it's going to... You've wasted about a quarter of your batteries on this. But 
I'll say graphically it looks nice, but it's on the wrong console. Like, as I, as I proved in the last one, we got through a full game of Wheel of Fortune by ourselves in, what, 12, 15 minutes? But honestly, this isn't doing it. This isn't cutting the mustard. Bring it back up here. Uh, yeah, um, Jeopardy for the Game Gear. Um, it's fine. Uh, it does Jeopardy well. It looks good. But unless you're doing it in how, like, I am doing this, like, I'll show you. I'll take my camera. This is how I'm doing it with the Retron 5, with the adapter, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, um, and if you're going to do it any other way, this would be a game I would say you're better off emulating. Like this, so you get to see my AEW figures. And, and the Nitro figure that's up there. Um... And other figures and my candle pin that I got in Boston but yeah if you're if you want to play Jeopardy for the Game Gear emulate it or have a Game Gear with the power pack because um, it's gonna take too long for a portable so yeah that it's not bad by any sense of the imagination it's just probably on the wrong console uh, and we're going to talk about another one next time, because next time up is Jeopardy Sports Edition. And I just want to thank everybody for playing, or for watching this video. Um, if you enjoy the commentary, if you enjoyed looking at this, um, thumbs up the video, leave a comment on what other uh, home games you want to see, and if you want to help support the channel, subscribe. If you want to support us financially and get videos uh, earlier than we put them in public on YouTube, go to patreon.com slash gameshowgumbo. Be like these wonderful backers right here. Yeah, right here. You see those names? They help support the channel. And it has become, because of them, we're able to do uh, this wonderful stuff right here. Anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Until next time, goodbye everyone.